Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. It looks like the camera stopped working. Here's an update what's going on at Yellowstone Super Volcano. Yellowstone National Park there in Wyoming. They've had a, quite a few earthquakes there. And, uh, you know, I've talked about the magma that's um, slowly flowing horizontally because the, the top cap of rhyolite is keeping down the gases, uh, keeping down the magma, even though it's trying to rise up. It won't rise up and break through and create a eruption of lava. It's called um, magma when it's still under the ground. Um, but for now, because of that cap, it's only, you know, traveling horizontally, mostly uh, in an easterly direction under the ground. They are measuring the flow of the magma and the uplift. Yellowstone Volcano is only one, um, one of five volcanoes around the world that they are monitoring what the magma is doing under the ground. So until that top rhyolite cap becomes brittle enough to allow the magma to rise up, we're not going to have an eruption. There's been about 40 smaller eruptions since the last major eruption um, 635, 600, and uh, 50,000 years ago. USGS is reporting 74 earthquakes on this map in the last week. The most recent was a 1.0, uh, kind of by Heben Lake there, along the Snake River Plateau, uh, 12.6 kilometers in depth. So that would be 7.83 miles in depth. There was also a 0 0.9 today. Um, a little bit more north of that same location, a 1.6, uh, same area, um, 7.8 kilometers in depth. That would be about 4.8 miles in depth, a 1.4, Three Forks, Montana, real shallow, 1.7 kilometers in depth. Uh, that would be, so that's about one mile in depth, then a 1.1. Uh, Whitehall, Montana, near there. There was a quarry blast. Yes, quarry blast can create earthquakes. Yeah, kind of dumb to do it so close to a super volcano, but it probably falls under the grandfather clause before they realize how big, how dangerous Yellowstone was. Um, that was yesterday. Uh, Whitehall, Montana was yesterday. And so it looks like the biggest one they are reporting so far is a 1.6. Um, 42 kilometers south southeast of Virginia City, Montana. As you know, there was a large earthquake there in Nevada. Yeah, it shook up the caldera there at Yellowstone. Um, let's look at the time here. This is the signature. Um, yeah, heat that came up. Hold on. At 1.33, it says the earthquake was. Um, but yeah, look at this other stuff that was going on. It took, um, what, two minutes for the signature to arrive there at Yellowstone. Brought up a lot of heat. These lines going up is the hot water and gases. And this is the effect, um, that 4 point, I think, what, 4.7? 4.5, excuse me, had on Yellowstone. Let's look at the signature. And let's go here. Um, before that earthquake. This is before that earthquake. Yeah. Now this is what? Um, 120. Not being reported if it was in fact at Yellowstone. Um, then we got another one here at 344. Key wave, the first wave before it arrived at Yellowstone. The only thing close to this time is uh, earthquake in Indonesia. I really don't think that's what it is. We got another one at 446. Um, some little stuff. More recent, uh, 907 today. That's probably the 2.9 in Magna, Utah. And let's look at its signature. 
and we'll go back to the spectrogram and some more little stuff you know lots of little stuff um 1124 very well could be utah also let's look ever since they had that large earthquake there yeah, look at all the aftershocks. 256 earthquakes on this map. Yeah. Remember, on the 18th, they had a magnitude 4.6. Yeah, and it's just been shaking. And, yeah, um, this earthquake was reported by people all the way up there at Yellowstone. So that's probably up there at Utah. And we got some more here. Yeah. They, they know that earthquakes all the way from Alaska have shook up the caldera there at Yellowstone. Now this is the monitor at um, Moose Creek, Idaho. I'm going to close this out and you can see we've got harmonic tremors, yeah, screw waves. Um, bring it up here. Yeah, got another one marked in red. and Yeah, look at this stuff. Yep. And I say, yep, I'm not surprised. It's just a matter of time. The pressure builds up. That it does have an eruption. See that? Let me go here and see what it shows. Yep, harmonic tremors or volcanic tremors, as they call it. And we'll pull it down. And this is what they call blobs of magma. <laughs> yeah, that's the actual scientific term. Blobs of magma. Kind of looks like a, a slug or whatever. Um, I want to look at that because there is a, a little signature right there. See, um, this shows that this little shake right here came from the south when it's pointing down. If it was pointing up, it would mean that little shake came from the north. Yep. Earthquakes in diverse places, right? All right, here we have the monitor for more Norris Junction. It's evidently set at a higher voltage, so the earthquakes come in much smaller. Yeah, they adjust it. Um, who knows why? Maybe because there's so much activity here at Norris Junction. Let's see, 344, that was the one I showed before. Um, what's this one? 142 yeah this would be um the effects of the earthquake that came in from nevada yeah as it came in yeah, like i said i think that earthquake was much larger um, this is the line of melt um, not all rock melts at the same temperature um kind of like uh, pockets of um let me pull this up like a sponge and you got little holes in the sponge and so that's what you're seeing when you see the lines of melt yeah and we'll go up to my I was gonna do a report yesterday but um, I had all the grandkids because they're all out of school right now yeah gets a little hectic here at times <laughs> but we do what we can do yeah blobs of magma let's take a look at that yeah harmonic tremors volcanic tremors all right so here we have the monitor for uh, grant which is on the western side of yellowstone lake you can see the difference in the setting yeah and all the earthquakes look at that yeah, harmonic tremors, which lasted quite a while. Um, from what what time? Uh, 129 until, um, yeah, a half an hour, a good half an hour. But we're going to start down here. All right, so we got that. And, yeah, see all the harmonic tremors? Now, remember, Yellowstone Lake has that crack at the bottom of the lake um, where it's spreading widening just like you know they have widening and spreading at the bottom of the ocean which is creating uh, new landmass or you got um, 
yeah coming up uh, 1023 a lot of earthquakes you can see there's a lot that's not being reported this one's marked in red um 714 yeah look at that hot pocket you know, you know we got the line of melt down here and then we got scattered lines of melt up there 714 now this would be universal time not being reported yeah i'm not surprised we'll go to that signature there and see what else we got here we'll work our way up to this earthquake um that occurred in nevada um the, the 4.5 and a lot of these here probably are caused by utah the earthquake they had in utah or excuse me nevada um yeah this is nevada and the, these here are the um the utah effects it's so many earthquakes gotta keep them straight yeah many earthquakes oh and there's that blob of magma look at that heat when it's red it's really really hot and look how high that heat rose no i don't know the depth i do know that the magma chamber the upper magma chamber is only about three miles um below uh sea level and all earthquakes are measured from sea level let's look at some more stuff again this is yellowstone lake look at all that can you see that the harmonic tremors yeah there's just so much here yeah just a matter of time before we get an earthquake someplace around the world that will probably be the trigger mechanism to start a chain of events where Yellowstone decides to erupt. And as we've seen with the coronavirus, people just are not prepared for a disaster. If they were prepared, they wouldn't be rushing out right now to buy all their supplies or medicine, um, medical things, you know. If Yellowstone goes off, you're definitely going to need them. A mask. Where is that one at? For the ash. Because this stuff, if it gets in your lungs, ends up like being cement. I can't really tell where this earthquake's at. Yeah. And there it is, right there. Um, yeah, it's got glass, so it embeds in your lungs. And you can't cough it out. It's just stuck there. Look at that. All right, we'll look at the signature there. Yeah, everything is a-okay. Today is Saturday the 21st, and here's the tilt meter for a borehole. It's a very deep well under the ground, so it's not picking up any outside noise. And, of course, right now the, the roads are closed because of the snow. Uh, borehole 250. Top is north. Remember, Yellowstone is one of only five volcanoes around the world that they are monitoring what the magma is doing, which way it's flowing under the ground. X, top is north. Y is east. And they also measure, watch what it's doing above the ground. Um, so, if you looked at this borehole from a distance, it would look like on the western side it was rising up. But under the ground... The magma is moving east. Each dot is an earthquake that created uplift. All right, so that's the last seven days. And then we got the last 30 days. When you see uh, scattered dots like that, that means there's lots of shaking going on. See that? And then it took a breath there. A very quick, sudden uplift. And once in a while, you see a little dot way up here and a little dot here. And one down there. Yeah, that same thing. And this is the last 30 days for this borehole. The borehole for Madison River, 207 for the last seven days. Top is north. Bottom is east. See how it suddenly dropped and then popped back up? And Y is east. We got a little dot outside of the eastern circle. But if you looked at it from a distance, the ground is rising. Looks like in the north. And then the last 30 days, see that? Lots of little dots, lots of shaking. And it took a breath there. Yeah, pretty well at the same time, huh? Yep. 
north, east, but from the outside it would look like it was rising in the north. The borehole at Yellowstone Lake, this is kind of like on the northern bank of Yellowstone Lake. See all the dots? Took a breath there, 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 yep. And then the last uh, seven days, the disk, straight flowing east. It's not going to continue that. Eventually, enough pressure is going to build. And this is the last 30 days. Uh, enough pressure is going to build where it's finally going to break through that hardened, really hard cap of rhyolite. And what's dangerous about this, like a can of soda, um, all that pressure from the gases is being held under. You know, what happens? Keep shaking that can and the pop, the bottom of the can pops out or the top of the can pops out and then eventually it just leaks out and, you know, squirts with high pressure. Again, Grant on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. And remember, uh, two years ago, it was trying to find a way to come through. There was a multiple series of swarm over in that location. Yeah, but it didn't break through. It sure was trying, kind of like Mount, Mount St. Helens. It didn't blow out the top. It blew out the side because that was a weaker area for the magma to escape. And Y is east. We got a little dot way over here. But yeah, if you look at it, see, the uplift is going on in the north. And then the last 30 days, look at that. All those are earthquakes in the last 30 days that caused uplift. And we'll go back to the last seven days. Yeah, there's a lot of them. A lot more than 75. And then if I zoom in just to the Yellowstone area, um, we got 52 here. And then in this area, we got a whole 28 for the last week. You know, I'm sure a lot of you have seen where I marked out the actual uplift um, going back to uh, 2015, the ground deformation. Yeah, this is the actual ground deformation going back uh, five years, what it was measuring five years ago in red, if you can see that. And then this is why, if you look at the United States, why it would be so devastating for the country. Okay, this is Yellowstone, and a lot of people are, where is it? I don't have it on right now. I was going to show you um, um, down there. Um, in uh, Southern California, uh, Long Valley. I was I was going to show that, but I don't have that turned on right now. Yeah, can you imagine being in the space station, flying above the Earth? Look at that. And when it pops, um, yeah, what you're going to see, it's like, oh my God. Panther, which is up by the Montana border. Yeah, and yeah, look at that last seven days, last 30 days. And then another monitor for Norris Junction. This is borehole 950 for the last week. Now this one, basically uplift, has been for quite a while um, centered. But we do have a slight trend going east. And look at that. Yeah, this is the last 30 days. Looks like they're taking a peek at Old Faithful. So that's all I have for you right now. Yep, earthquakes in diverse places, volcanic eruptions, plagues, <laughs> asteroids. Yeah, everything from the book of Revelation is starting to happen and it's only going to get worse. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, put it down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Please be prepared. Um, yeah, don't wait until the last minute and you can't find Jack Diddley Squat. Um, don't forget the pets. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.